Hey, it's Retro Pickups time. So it's going to be a short segment because I've only picked up a couple of things this week for Retro Pickups. So, um, yeah, so let's just get started. So I'm going to count this as two things because I bought it in two different places. So I was at this pawn shop um, down the street and I was just looking through their stuff and they had this for $1. Anybody know what this is? It says Logitech. What does that look like to you? So this is a receiver for a Logitech wireless controller for the PlayStation 2. And I bought this for $1 because I knew that eventually I would find the controller that goes along with this. Because I find them at Goodwill sometimes, the controllers, but I never see the receiver for them. So I picked up the receiver hoping that one day I'll find the controller that matches it. Um, so yeah, there's that. So. Uh, next retro pickup is, hey, guess what? It's the PlayStation 2 Logitech controller that goes with the receiver that I found. So yeah, now I've got a matching set. So I've got the Logitech um, controller, wireless controller for the PlayStation 2, which, in my opinion, is the best wireless controller you can buy for the PlayStation 2. I used to own this one as a, as a kid, well, a teenager, or... You know, I was an adult by the time PlayStation 2 came out, but yeah, I had one of these, and it was my favorite. So I got both of them. Um, combined total price is uh, $9 for both of these, so there you go. There's that. Um, all right, the next thing and the last thing I'm going to show is another Goodwill find. You remember that controller? Yeah, that's the best one. Um, I found this at Goodwill. Hey, it's the PlayStation 1. The, the last revision of the original PlayStation... It's the small version. I also used to own one of these as a, a young adult. Back when this came out, I bought one. Um, and uh, this is really cool. There's a, They make a screen that goes with this, and I used to own the screen too. Um, this was unfortunately one of the victims of the garage fire I had a few years ago. So I used to have this until it burned up in that fire. But I had this and the, and the, um, the screen that went with it. I noticed that there is a, the little uh, label has a puncture hole right here where the screw is. So I thought that somebody might have chipped this at one point. So I opened it up to look and no, there's no chip in it. So I'm not sure why somebody apparently tried to open this at one time. Um, but uh, I did test this guy and it works perfect. It works perfectly fine. It reads the games. So I picked this up for what, 20 bucks? I got this for twenty dollars at the Goodwill. That's the same controller I used where I was, where I had it set up in the back seat of your dad's minivan. Oh, the wireless, PS2 wireless. I wonder if um, will the PS2 wireless controller work on the original PlayStation? Cause the the adapter does fit in it. Is that a thing you can do? That'd be really cool if that would work. That would be really cool, actually. So I'm not sure if that would work, but I hope it does. Huh. I'll have to test that out. Um, but yeah, there you go. The original PlayStation 1, the last revision. So I've got three models of the PlayStation now. I've got the original uh, release PlayStation with the composite video. And I've got a later revision of that one, plus now I've got this guy. PS2 controllers are back backwards compatible with PS1. Yeah, I think that... Well, I know that's true because I've used a wired controller, a wired PS2 controller on this, but I never tried the wireless. So, um, yeah, I, I'm betting it's going to work, yeah. Well, that's it. Thank you for checking out my short retro pickups for this week. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This will go up on YouTube. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh,